Hello, everyone. Welcome to another Clay webinar. This is Pedro from GemVision Barcelona team. And uh, today we will see the main features of ClayU. Uh, so as you know, ClayU is the plugin for organic modeling inside Rhino. And now let's open. In this case, we have matrix code. We are going to do a, a ring today. And as you can see, also ClayU inside matrix code. And we are going to uh, mainly focus on today's webinar on the subdivision modeling so uh, the ring we are going to do we are going to turn on uh, the sub d here on the clay you first icon and as you can see now we have this viewport toolbar wherever is the active viewport it will be this toolbar mainly we can define selection mode mode for uh, edges faces uh, points and uh, let's then uh, create the ring or in this case a start a starting point we will choose the ring and as you can see we have already defined a ring of course we could choose any ring size we want we could define the measurements in here it's just important to define also the number of divisions as you can see usually uh, we uh, we don't need we don't need so many divisions all these uh, all these edges that you can see uh, we uh, we add more divisions when we need to add more details to the model so far it looks good so i just click okay and i'm going to move on if you have any questions please feel free to to use the chat uh, mainly in the in the end of this exercise i will dedicate some time for the for the question so feel free to to uh, let me know anything you need at this point once we have the ring i'm going just to load a main gem so we have here the gem i'm going to move it up just to find in the position make sure the gem size i want a five millimeter gem and looks perfect maybe move down a little bit more and i have already the main uh, things i need the, the the reference of the ring size the the gem the central central gem so from here what i'm going to do is to create a bezel back to the clay you we have under the creation again we will find the, the bezel tool so i'm going just to select the gem where i want to apply the bezel we already have the bezel here around the gem we can adjust the position the thickness and all so once we have the bezel around the gem now uh, i'm going to prepare my ring the idea is to create kind of a bypass ring connecting the bezel with the shank so let's start working on on these two parts the first thing i'm going to do is to select maybe let's start with uh, hiding the shank and I'm going to uh, face the selection mode and I'm going to select probably in the top view will be easier select half of the bezel and uh, delete so I'm going to delete also this part the idea is to connect the bezel with a kind of bypass so I just want this part of the of the bezel then connecting with the shank so I'm going also to delete this and back to the perspective as you can see now we have the the bezel uh, just part of it and uh, please note that when the the object the clay object is not closed you will have this pink edge this naked edge so the first thing we will do now is to go to edges selection mode double click to select the entire loop of edges and we will find the uh, in here what we will use is the append and face and under creation to cap this side and exactly the same in the other side we will cap it so we have it closed now and the other uh, uh, back to the shank i'm going out to hide the bezel just to be easier select the entire object hide and from here let's maybe in the front view will be easier 
we will select the face selection mode and i'm going again to delete off of the object so just deleting the keyboard the same with these faces i want to connect from this part so i delete this as well and i can show my bezel back to the perspective now you will see that the idea is to connect these two parts once again i'm going to close i have this naked edge so back to the edges selection mode select with double click the entire loop and again cap it we could adjust also the position it's not a bad idea just to define this movement this transition to be smoother maybe with the edges selection mode we can also drag this side as you can see automatically the gumball will appear on the on the selected objects so once we adjust we can also uh, maybe scale a little bit we just move we uh, change the gumball to scale we have one direction scale looks good so now the idea is to connect these two faces from this side to the other side i want to create this connection creating like a bypass ring so to do this we have under the addition we will find the bridge so the bridge automatically connects these two faces of course we have a couple of options to add more divisions and in this case i just leave it like this looks perfect and once we have one side of the ring what we will do is uh, to create uh, the symmetry in this case maybe with the rotation will be easier so what i'm going to do is to select entire clay object and rotate from the center so the idea is to make sure in the command line the copy option is yes so i'm going to rotate from here to here 180 degrees enter and we have the other side of the ring we are just missing the disconnection so we have here on both sides uh, naked edges we need to connect these two two parts in a single one and let's make it with the um, under the edit we will find the weld tool so we just select the points we want to weld enter and as you can see now we have it in a single object so this is the main the main body of the ring this bypass shank uh, we will also add uh, some gems uh, from the subdivision as you can see there are many useful tools that we can really create these uh, smooth shapes and we will also uh, be able to for instance to add some gems in here one thing that we can find in in clayu is uh, the possibility to extract the the iso curve so we will find it under the i think it's under the addition let me just make sure uh, extract iso curve maybe under the creation here we go so uh, i just uh, forget to to end the the weld in this case complete command to finish and now we will go to extract the iso curve so what we want is a curve along my object i just select the edge perpendicular to the direction i want the iso curve and then i click in the position i want as you can see it will get the entire loop on the clay object what i want is to select here the center position and finally now we have the curve where we will use as reference to place our gems but um, from the clay you it's mainly uh, everything done uh, let's uh, just turn off as you can see it will it will convert the the clay object to once we have clay you uh, turn it off 
we won't be able to edit. This means that if we want to adjust any detail, any moment we can come here and turn on and adjust whatever we need. So at this point, as I want to place gems, we will just uh, define the gems on curve. I select the curve. And then in here, we can use the start point, just drag the center point to the start position. Maybe we can start from this side and then adjust also the gem size. Let's make it 1.5 maybe. And the end point, let's place it in the other side. Here looks good. So the gems are ready. We will need also to create the settings and the, the hole, the, the stone seat. So we are going to create the cutters. And to do it, we will need to do a, a Boolean operation. Any moment we can, we can convert our, our clay objects into nerves to be able to use the, the Boolean. So let's do it with the uh, back to clay, in this case, conversion to none. So we select the, the clay object, enter. We can keep or delete the, the original. I usually want to keep it because in case of uh, any addition, we want to edit the, the clay object any moment we can come back to it. So I'm going to hide it. And now we have our uh, solid, our poly surface. And the idea is to apply some cutters and some settings, in this case, some prongs. So as you can see, we have the prong studio here. We can define the prong size, the prong height. Just make sure exactly as we want. And once we have the gems and the prongs, the final step for this will be to select, to apply the cutters. Here we go, gem cutter. We can define the settings. In this case, I want to create the pilot hole to make sure it will be completely inside. So the length of the cutter is, is inside the ring size. So the cutters are ready. We have it ready to make the boolean. So let's go back to the boolean operation. In this case, I want to select the ring, enter, and the objects to remove the cutters to create the seat. So the boolean in progress. As you can see now, we have the holes. Let's probably change the render display so this is this is the result we have this organic modeling with this bypass ring i hope you enjoy it and of course let us know all your questions it's always a pleasure to to be able to help thank you so much for attending this webinar and uh, we will dedicate this uh, five ten minutes more to answer all the questions here in the chat once again, thank you for joining us today.